So despite my joking around earlier about how 3D in Game Maker Studio 2 is dead, uh, it really actually isn't. And because the video that I made a couple days ago kind of got a little bit more attention than I was really expecting it to, I figured I should make this and set the record straight. Anyway, if you have messed around with 3D in Game Maker at all before, you're probably going to want to throw all of that out the window and start over, because uh, D3D is essentially dead, it has been removed, you can't use it. And it has been replaced with a couple different systems that I'll be going over, over the course of this video. So I'm going to go and start by launching this 3D tutorial, uh, .yyp. I have done a little bit of setup before I started recording. I'm just going to go through this quickly. I have a room that's filled with grass tiles. You can see I have this, um, let me rearrange the size of these windows a little bit. Um, I have a tile set of grass with depth equals negative 200. I have a layer of instances with depth equals negative 100. And I have a background which is uh, set to depth equals zero. And I actually don't know how this got to, to depth equals negative 200 because I want that at depth equals zero. I feel like redistributing the depth of layers is way more annoying than it really has to be in Game Maker Studio. Anyway, negative 100, uh, zero, positive 100, this is what I want. Game Maker, please stop screwing with me. Anyway, I showed that off. Tiles actually work in 3D the way you might hope they would. And I'm basically going to be using the grass tiles as the floor in this project. So now I'm going to create an object called Game World. I'm tempted to call this something like Camera, except I really shouldn't because one of the new systems that has been created in Game Maker Studio 2 is the Camera System. And I don't want to confuse the object with the, with the system. Anyway, as I mentioned earlier, you can't just say D3 start anymore. As you can see, no syntax highlighting. It thinks that's just a variable or something like that. Instead, to set up 3D in Game Maker Studio 2, I'm going to comment this with something like setup. You're going to want two functions, which would be GPU set Z right enable, no, Z test enable. It doesn't matter which goes first. And the other one that you're going to want is GPU set Z right enable. And they're both going to be set to true. This is basically turning on the Z buffer, which means that things that are farther away from the camera are going to be drawn smaller than things closer to the camera. Anyway, moving on, speaking of the camera, um, you're going to be needing to set up the camera, as I've been talking about, and the view. So the first thing that I'm going to do is view enable, enabled equals true. And the second thing I'm going to be doing is view set visible equals true, or um, view of zero, the first one, the index zero is going to be true. You could do this through the room editor, Except um, I prefer to have as much as possible done in code, so I'm going to be setting up the views through code. Uh, after that, you're going to want camera equals camera create. And for the time being, for the next couple minutes, that's all that I need to do. I will be getting back to the camera in the near future. Next, projection matrix is going to matrix build projection. I'm going to go with field of view. It doesn't really matter. The field of view is going to be uh, 45 degrees. I see most people who play video games know what a field of view is. It's just how much around your head that you can see. Uh, the aspect ratio, I'm assuming that most people who know what a monitor is know what the aspect ratio is. Uh, in this case, it's just going to be view W port of zero over view H port of zero. It's going to be the same aspect ratio as the window on the screen. Uh, Z near and Z far, the clipping planes. If you don't know what the clipping plane is, anything closer than Z near or anything farther away than Z far won't be rendered by the uh, by the game. So anything that's right in your face or really far away it won't be drawn. Anyway, if you have worked with 3D in Game Maker Studio or Game Maker 8 or whatever came before that, uh, you may recognize this a little bit from the uh, like 3D projection functions. D3D set projection extended and all that. If not, don't worry. I'm now going to need to assign the projection matrix to the camera. So that's going to be accomplished with just camera set projmat. That sounds really funny when I say it out loud. Anyway, the camera is going to be the one that I just created and the projection matrix is also going to be the one that I just created. So that's all simple enough. And then view set camera to assign the camera to the view. Uh, the view is going to be zero, and again, the camera is the one that I just created. And the last thing that I need to do here is camera set update script. And again, 
the camera that was just created, and it's going to take the index of a script, which is going to control the camera update, which is essentially what would have gone in the draw event of the camera object in Game Maker Studio, except it's now handled automatically. It's somewhat convenient in that you can swap in and out different types of like camera rendering if you want to change like first person or um, overhead or something like that. Anyway, let's get rid of the second parenthesis. I really don't like the way the game maker now adds a parenthesis when you hit enter or code completion help because I'm not used to it and it's weird. Let's just call this update script. Camera update. Or let's call it camera update rather, not update script because that's ambiguous. So I am going to go and create that script called camera update. And now if I go over here, it's going to be highlighted in yellow for uh, like syntax help. Syntax highlighting, that's a script index, not a variable. And now this is the last thing I need to do before I can actually run the game. But I'm going to need to create another matrix. This is going to be the view matrix. Uh, let's call it var matrix. And it's going to be matrix build B-U-I-L-D, look at. Did I really spell matrix wrong? Did I really spell matrix wrong again? There we go, matrix build, look at. And again, if you've worked with 3D in previous versions of Game Maker, uh, this should look familiar, the code help at the bottom. X from, Y from, Z from, X2, Y2, Z2, X up, Y up, and Z up. Um, these are basically the same arguments that D3D set projection took. Except I'm actually not going to copy and paste this. Uh, just to start out, I'm going to go and look from 0, 0, 100, not 1,000, 100, to room width, room height, and 0. So I'm going to be looking down diagonally across the room. And the up vector for the camera is simply going to be 0, 0, and 1. So we're going to be pointing the camera up, not going to be lying on our side or anything like that. And... Once that has been finished, camera set view mat is the function to assign the matrix to the camera. So we're going to be saying view camera of zero and the matrix that we just created. I have not talked about view camera of zero yet, but I will be after I run the game. Um, it's a little bit more complicated. You might want to use the uh, this variable right here that I created with camera create. But I'll get to why that's not going to work in a minute after the game runs. Apparently Google Chrome is flashing about something. Please stop. Uh, did I apparently like middle click something? Oh, come on, I mistyped something. Um, view get uh, W port and view get H port. I don't know if you can actually use the variables view W port and view H port. I've never actually tried that. In any event, let's go. Oh look, it's not working because I actually don't have a, uh, a camera object, a game world object or whatever, in the game world, funnily enough. Oh, stop that. These, like, instance layers, these are the death of me. It's going to take a little while to get used to. Like, I'm not going to outright say that I dislike this, this layer system because apparently a lot of people do uh, like it. But, man, it's really going to take a while to get used to. Alright, there we go. So we're looking diagonally across the room. Except for one problem, which is that everything is upside down. Yeah, basically the axis of the camera got flipped upside down in uh, Game Maker Studio 2. It has to do with the way that things are drawn and the way that like tiles work in 3D and everything like that. Actually, I don't know if I should say that everything got flipped upside down or if it was originally upside down with 3D in Game Maker and it just got corrected. Anyway, to fix that, I'm just going to say negative 100 for the, uh, the Z from instead of positive 100 and we're just basically going to be looking... Uh, down the other way, and this will fix the problem. Alright, there we go. So now looking diagonally across the room. Now one more thing before I end it off. I did say I would talk about this view camera. That's basically the result over here of view set camera. For whatever reason, uh, you can't access instance variables in the camera update script. If I were to instead say, uh, just use the camera here. Come on. Why did that like not highlight the word properly? But if I were to say this instead, uh, the game would give me an error like this, uh, variable gameworld.camera, not set before reading it. Yeah, you can't access instance variables. You can access these global variables. You can use accessor scripts if you want to like pass along the X and Y value of the camera or the game world object. I'll get more into that in a future video when it comes to moving around in 3D, but just be aware of that. I'm actually going to write that in a comment over here. Anyway, that's it. That's getting started with 3D in Game Maker Studio 2.
I'm going to be doing at least one more video on this when it comes to drawing what would have formerly been known as 3D models. But for now, I will leave a link to where you can download this code in the description of this video, along with some other reading that you can do on 3D and Game Maker Studio 2 if you're interested. I hope you find that useful. My name is Dragonite, and I will see you all later.